Now to the escalating concerns about a potential nuclear disaster in Ukraine with missiles falling around Europe's largest nuclear power plant. The UN is now sounding the alarm. Britt Clenet has the latest. This morning, the U.S. commits another $1 billion to help Ukraine defend itself against Russia's invasion. The package includes more ammunition for U.S. HIMARS artillery systems, howitzers, javelin anti-tank weapons and armored vehicles, bringing total U.S. aid to Ukraine to over $18 billion since the war began. Austria. This as fighting in the South intensifies, with the United Nations condemning the recent attacks around Europe's largest nuclear power plant. Any attack to a nuclear plant is a suicidal thing. Ukrainian officials warning that if the nuclear reactors at the plant get damaged in the crossfire, the fallout could be catastrophic. There will be uh, huge consequences, not only for Ukraine, probably all Ukraine will be uh, contaminated, uh, but for Europe as well. Experts say a disaster there would have massive repercussions for Russia as well. The way the winds blow, a lot of this like in the Chernobyl disaster, would go into Russia itself, contaminating hundreds, maybe thousands of square kilometers of Russian territory. Russia and Ukraine pointing the blame at each other for the attacks. The Russian Defense Ministry releasing images they say shows the aftermath of the strikes. Ukraine claim Putin's forces have intentionally planted explosives at the site. President Zelensky accusing them of nuclear blackmail. Michael, Russia says the plant is in safe hands and it will protect it from attacks, but Ukraine's nuclear agency telling us they've also stepped up measures in case of a crisis. Michael. All right, thank you, Britt. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.